Now let's solve question number 67. It states, what is the length of x in the line segment CD in the triangle drawn below? You can observe here triangle ABC is a right angle triangle where angle C is 90 degree. You need to obtain the length of this line segment CD which is considered as x. Let's solve this. Here you can clearly observe that angle C is 90 degree, it is a right angle triangle and right angle triangle lies in the semicircle where this hypotenuse acts as the diameter and here this is clearly AD and BD equal to 5. This means point D is here midpoint of BD. So you can definitely consider that AD is equal to BD. So AB is diameter of the semicircle in which this triangle ABC will be drawn. So D will be the midpoint of that and midpoint of the diameter is the center of the circle. That's why each and every point will be equidistant from it. If you are drawing a circle, then it will definitely pass from A, B and C. So you will be getting here that this CD is also the radius. So here this is measuring 5 units because it is also the radius. That's why the correct answer here will be option number 2 because here you have AD equal to BD which is further equal to CD giving you X as 5. So you can write here answer is option number 2. Now let's move on to the question number 68. This question states if M plus N is equal to O plus P and M plus Q is equal to P plus N. Moreover, you are provided with two inequalities which states that 2P is less than M plus Q and 2M is greater than O plus N. On basis of these given conditions, you have to find the correct relationship of all these elements. Let's consider the first two equations and add both of them. When you consider these two equations and add both of them, you will find that NN gets cancelled and that helps you to obtain the value of O. Now let's consider this value of O and the second inequality provided to you. Using that you have here 2M greater than O plus N, where in place of O you can definitely substitute this value which results 2M greater than 2M plus Q minus 2P plus N. Here further we can simplify this and 2 and 2M gets cancelled and you obtain that 2P is greater than N plus Q. As 2P is greater than N plus Q and it's already given that 2P is less than M plus Q. This means M plus Q is greater than N plus Q which results here that M plus Q is greater than N plus Q where Q gets simplifies and you obtain here that M is greater than N. Now let's come to this inequality here 2P is less than M plus Q. Coming to this equation here M plus Q is equal to P plus N. So this M plus Q can be replaced by P plus N. So if you substitute here in place of this M plus Q, P plus N, you will obtain a relationship that here P is less than N. Further, you get here P is less than N. Now let's consider these two options out of these. In only option number 1, P is less than N. In this case, P is greater than N. That's why you cannot consider option number 2. Here we have the correct answer as option number 1. Because it satisfies both of these conditions which we have obtained on basis of the given conditions. So you can write here answer for this question is definitely option number 1 which states O is greater than M, M is greater than N, N is greater than P, where P is greater than Q. Now let's move on to our next question. Here this is question number 69 which is related to the water image. It states if water image of oxide is given as this then water image of the metal will be. Let's try to obtain the answer for this. Here definitely you can write the word provided to you metal. As you have to obtain its water image, let's consider here you have the mirror. Whenever you consider the water image, the mirror is supposed to be placed under the object. Then in that case, you will obtain the reflection in this form where we have the reflection like this. And this is the reflection obtained when you observe these options here, option number 2 is found to be the exact water image. 
So, here answer for this question is definitely option number 2 which is the water image of the given word metal. Now, let us move on to question number 70. Here we have this question related to dice. It states how many dots lie opposite the face having 3 dots when the given figure is folded to form a cube. Whenever you fold the nets of the dice to obtain a cube, the alternate faces are opposite to each other. Here, when you consider this face and this face, they will lie opposite to each other. This face will be opposite to this face and this face will be opposite to this face. And here you have to answer how many dots lie opposite the face having 3 dots. Here we have 3 dots and it is opposite to the face having 6 dots. So, here option number 4 is the correct answer. So, we write here answer for this question is option number 4. Now, let us move on to our next question.